Hi, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I am going to be changing the colours. I'm going to make it in Tempting Turquoise, a retired colour. The reason for this is this card is from my card pal and for the month of September the colour is Turquoise. So I found this in my stash and I thought, oh, I'll use that. So that's what I'm using. So I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, and folded in half. I have a piece of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside. She says, I oh, never mind, it's for the inside. I have a piece of white at three inches by four and a half to go on the top and I have some scraps of white for the flowers and the leaves and a scrap of black for the sentiment. The sentiment I am changing um, because this says with friendly thoughts and best wishes today and every day. I don't really want that on my um, card pals card. The stamp sets I'm using is handwritten for the background. Um, the flowers are from Floral Essence and I'm going to use that, the leaf and that flower. And the sentiment is from Well Said and I'm going to use Make Me Smile. But from the second pack I'm going to use the word you. So it's you make me smile. So that's what I'm going to be using today. But first of all, let me get it. I want to show you last month's card. And this is what she sent me. Last month was pink. And she sent me this. And in here was a load of cutouts and everything from it, which I've now put in my box. Oh, isn't that pretty? And this come off. Let's put that back where it belongs. So that was my pink card from my card pal Sam. Let's put that back to the side. Oh, inside she'd put that. Delighted in the beauty that surrounds you with love. Handmade by Sam. <laughs> so yes, that, that's from my card pal. So, let's go on and make this card for Sam. Right, first of all we'll stamp and cut out our flowers. So, I am going to stamp my flowers in pink blushing bride and balmy blue and i'm going to do the little ones in blushing bride so we need two of these and my cloth Clean it up and that's it for them. Army blue. We need a big one. Guess what? We're going to cut them all out, and I haven't got none prepared, so I'll have to cut them out together. So I'm cleaned. That's them. Now we need. Oh, I never brought none. Just a moment. Uh, 
need some um, soft sea foam for the leaves. So I want three of these. And I'll be punching these out. Because they do go with the leaf punch that we got with Painted Harvest. And what else have we got to do? Well, the innards for the flowers, which I didn't get out. So we want this little tiny one. And some daffodil delight. Right, this one is for the little flowers, and you just place that in there. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Clean that up, and then this one. goes in there. Nice. Right. I'll cut them out shortly. Like the sentiment. We're going to em emboss. Right, on this one I embossed it in white. But when I... <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> I made this card a crop and when I come back I unpacked my stuff and my white embossing folder uh embossing powder ended up up the hoover because the lid wasn't on and I spilt it. So I have found in my stash this wow and it's silver pearl. I don't know what colour it comes out of out like. We'll give it a try. If it doesn't work, I'll think of I'll just do black ink on white. So let's do that. First of all, we need our embossing body and clean our card. And with our Versa mark. We are going to stamp Make Me Smile Can't see that very well And You Paper. Let's see what this is like. Hmm. We'll see. my heat tool. Sorry about the noise. Let's get this nice and hot. out of silver. 
Let's do that. That's all right. All right. And with this, we will cut it into strips. First one, cut that straight. Our second one. You make me smile. Right, put that to one side. Right, we're going to cut out these flowers. They're very easy. All you've got to do is just follow it all the way around. Don't know why I never prepared this. I could have at least had three of them cut out. I'm leaving a white border all the way around these. I always go off camera when I'm cutting, sorry about that. Try and stay in view. As you can see, I um, try and keep my scissors in the same direction and just move the paper. done. It's quite cold here today for August. Definitely a chill in the air. And I'm saying August, it almost will be, well it will be September when you see these. This card. I am doing quite well with my videos, getting them recorded well in advance. 
Now I'm trying to get a few, at least four weeks in advance as I'm planning a little project and I don't want to be worrying about my cards. Right, I'll stamp these out with the leaf punch. Stamp these out, punch these out with the leaf punch. Shapes today. Not lining up very well. Right. Put all this rubbish in the bin now. So that's all then. Alright, we've got a bit more stamping to do and we're going to stamp our background. I'm not going to put that on a block and we're going to stamp that in crumb cake and I haven't got it. Put it on the wrong pile. Behind me I've got all my cards laid out and stuff ready to film. <laughs> right, just do that up the middle. And plonk that down. all over I lift it up I don't know what half these words say but that's that done clean off the stamp I think we can put this card together. So let's place the inside card in. this down in the middle on the front there we are right and we're going to arrange these flowers now what I did do with my bone folder I carefully just turned them up a little bit. I'm going careful with this, I don't want to be ripping them. blue ones I just spot a glue on the back of the little blue one and I place that in the middle 
of the big blue one. And I just placed it at, at an angle, which I think makes it look nice. And then I just arranged them all on my card. And I'll put a leaf behind that one. A leaf down here. And I put one in the middle there. I think that looks quite nice. Move that out of the way. And we just glue these down. Spot a glue on the leaves, feed it under, and feed that under. And on this one, the leaves, the side leaves, I didn't put glue on, just the stem and the top leaf and I slid that underneath like that that's looking quite nice put my lid on the glue now my sentiment I'm going to put up here on Dimensionals. Mini dimensionals. That one can have one. And that one three. backs off and we'll place that there Not that you still not straight. Why can I not get that straight? I think I've got bent scissors. Right, we just want some gems on it. Got to have gems right. Seems as this is going in the post for France, I am actually going to pop them on a spot of glue. coming off in the post. There we have 
our card. Hope Sam likes it. <coughs> if you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. Um, and if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon. Don't forget the thumbs up.